Hi and welcome to the workshop. Right, today we're going to actually put in a hex file into the POV across. It's going to be a hex file I've downloaded. I will give a link for this hex file. I'm also going to show you two methods. Yeah, that's right, two methods of how to upload this hex. Now the first thing you need is a USB, let's get it in frame, a USB to TTL adapter. This one costs about three pounds uh, and it's a Silicon Labs 2.1 something. Uh, I believe on the second method I show you to uh, install the hex, you can actually use an Arduino and program that up to uh, do that. Right, the other thing we need is four DuPont leads and they're female both ends. Right, I'm having a bit of trouble getting this actually in line. Right, I've got the four leads actually installed. And I've got the blue on the ground, the purple is on five volts. All right, and these two here, the yellow, I can't actually see that with my eyes. Hold on, let me uh, change, get me glasses and have a look. Okay, the yellow is on RXD and the orange is on TXD. Right, first thing I'm going to do is to plug those in. Right, I'm going to do the supply first. So the blue, which is the ground, is going to the uh, connector closest to the IR sensor. The 5 volts is basically the other end. Right, the orange goes next to the blue. And the yellow, which was the RX, that goes to closest to the 5 volts. So that is the connection. So this is a ready to program. Right, now what we need to do is A, obtain the hex file that we want to put in and then B, find suitable software. Okay, let's let's uh, get the hex file. Right, I'm just going to swap the displays off. Okay. Right, the hex file is available at the septimus.co.uk. Hopefully I've said that right. If not, the uh, owner will definitely be on my case because uh, I know he does watch the videos and uh, replies in the comments. Right, on this site, if you go to the site, if you scroll down a fair way, and I mean a fair way, by all means, read all this and yeah, I would encourage you, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Right, we're coming into the cheap POV kits. Keep scrolling, and here is the link for the hex file. It's called a POV hex. As you can see here, you could actually just type that address in and obtain the hex. Right, we've got the hex file. Now we need to uh, do some uh, programming. Right. I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to use a program called I can't remember for the life of me. There's, let me just have a look. I'm going to use a program called STC ISP. Uh, 
and I will find out the version, the current version I'm using at the moment. Yep, I'm using version 6.86D. Uh, some of the earlier versions weren't really in English, but for our purposes, uh, this is in English. And let me just try and find uh, the website where you can download this software. Right, okay, this is the uh, software, it's stcmcudata.com, it is all in Chinese, but if you actually scroll down, uh, the link is here. So click on that and you can download the latest version of the program I will be using to start off with. Okay, when you first uh, run, or when you run the uh, ISP or STC ISP program, you get this nice box. I ain't got a clue what it says. Uh, it's obviously telling us uh, something about the version or whatever. But if you say OK, that will then bring you up to and then this nice little panel. Right, this is the actual program. It is comprehensive. This may be harder for some people because it, it, the program is designed for multiple devices. Right, first thing we want to do, let me uh, switch on my camera. I want to plug that into the USB. Right, turn the camera off a min. You need to pick the processor. It's actually an S, or the one I'm using is an STC 89C52 RC stroke LE 52RC. So I've selected that. Then you select the COM port. As you see here, my Silicon Labs uh, CP2100X has appeared. So that's my COM port. Uh, not worried about the ma maximum speed. Uh, you want to enable the double speed mode and but you want to op open the uh, the code file right let me just find the hex it's somewhere on my desktop pov clock hex okay right there's my hex right i need to enable the other window to show you what I'm doing here. I've done a man. Let's see if I can okay minimize that one. Why is my capture make this one a bit bigger? Okay. Let's see if I can get these almost side by side so you can see both windows. What I'm doing is with one hand and the other hand's wiggling the mouse. Okay, what I need to do, this is actually powered at the moment, so I need to unpower it. I'll just unplug the negative there. Then, as you say, I'm going to go on to reprogram. And it's going to say check in MCU. And as soon as I power it up, it should go in. And it's programmed. Right, device is now programmed. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, take your time just to look and see all my settings I have on the uh, STC ISP program. But this is programmed now. So if I plug it in, if I can find a spare port, oh, that's a bit, let's fire this up, as you can see it's now working fine. Okay, now for the next method.
Right, let's just zoom everything out. Straighten things up. And switch the camera off. Right. That hasn't got it all, has it? Next method, if you head over to the Septimus site again, he's done his own program, which you can download from by putting this into the address bar. It's actually on version 0.5 at the moment. Would recommend 0.5 or higher. But uh, the time of doing the uh, uh, the actual video, the program was in 0.5. Right, let's have a look. And at the bottom here, here is the link for the program that I'll be using. It does mention up above, like I said, you can use an Arduino Uno to do the programming. Uh, I'll let anyone that's going to use this method read from the top. But at the moment, I was just after the program. So, right, you get the program and you install it. My Avast, yeah, had fun with it. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it. It just wanted it to send it off for evaluation, which hopefully it's done now. So I won't have to disable my Avast antivirus. Right, so now let's open up the program, see if it does open without Avast kicking in. Yes, it has, so let me just get that out of the way. And here is the program uh, by Septimus, I hope I am saying that correct. And it's version, like I said, 0.5. Uh, it doesn't give you the descriptions on the device, but I know my Silicon Labs is COM port 6. Right, I need to enable the video again. And let's get that out of the way. And I want that block. Let's plug in. Am I on video? Yep. Negative. There's my positive. Orange went to nectar to the blue. Right, that's plugged in. Now we can unplug that. If I can move this screen a, a tad. I'm moving the wrong screen, I think gentlemen right so you can actually see the whole program here i am now we can do a uh, check for information it won't help it let me just do that there hold on it's opened a few more windows that are not on screen so let's no Minimize that. Let's get this into the frame as best as I can while you can still see this. Actually, I wonder if I can get that there. And then move that over there. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Let's try this again. Right, it's unpowered, as you can see. The negatives here. Let's do the uh, read the chip information again. Read the chip. Now if we power it, as you can see over here, it's identified everything about the, uh, the actual processor. So yeah, you don't have to do that, but it's nice to confirm your communications by using this method. Right, now what I'll do is you actually you click here. Again, we're going to pick the POV clock hex. And we're going to tick the double speed mode. Because I'm powered, I'm going to unpower the device. 
and then say upload to the chip. Again, it's waiting for me to power it. Let's power it, and here we go. And as soon as it says programming complete, we have a successful program. Right, let's go back to this one, make it a bit bigger. Let's unplug all those. And try our code out. And as you can see, it's uh, up and running again. Right, that's, uh, that's about it. That's two methods of how you can program the hex. Uh, I think the next episode will probably be uh, a conclusion, or not a conclusion, a rundown of everything we've done from square one up to here. And then I'm going to look at some of the Chinese programs that are out there to actually program this to see what they would do with it, do for us. And seeing if we can make them work and see if we can customize the actual text that we see. Okay, many thanks for watching. Hope this was useful. This is uh, definitely your one step which you will need to do with this device because, as I said, uh, about uh, part two or three, I can't remember. This device is not programmed, you will need to put a hex in. So it, it is nice that we can go to the Septimus site and get a hex already done. It's a brilliant tool for actually making sure the device is working. Uh, it basically removes all the unknowns that we would have with the Chinese program, shall I say. Okay, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.